but he really thinks the economy sucks, you might as well stay to the end. I'll, I'll show you how how we do things here. Let's see. Some people say, you know, the economy's on the rebound. Looks like a lot of you guys are saying it's super poor. It sucks. It's awful everywhere. I'm seeing everywhere in the U.S. a lot of people. Uh, U.K., the economy's getting better, but it's super slow, you know. Um, I, I totally hear you guys. You know, there's a lot of stuff going on right now and a lot of stuff going on in the background that you, you may or may not know about. Um, you know, you guys can safeguard yourself from a lot of different things that come from um, – some of this uncertainty that's going on, what they call bank holidays or, or bank seizures. Have you guys heard about those where basically, you know, the economy in the country starts doing so poorly that the government tells the banks, See, you got to seize everybody's money. Basically, everybody's money is like locked up, and then they impose a heavy tax on all of the money that's in there. Uh, people in Cyprus, for instance, uh, if you had over $100,000 in a bank account in Cyprus, they taxed you. Uh, over 40% is what they were going to take away. 40% of what was in there, just uh, as a thanks for being a citizen, you know, our country's sucking, so we appreciate your help. And that's it. I mean, they just take your money, and they give you a nice little thank you card, right? And that's happened to a couple of different countries out there. So this is a way to kind of safeguard yourself from those sorts of situations, and also a step-by-step -step on how we automated the entire process of, of taking some initial investment money making the money that we made and then making it automated so we don't have to really sit around doing it all day long and stress out about it and worry about it and all that stuff. So let's just talk about uh, a few different things in this area. Now, um, like I mentioned before, the world economy is not stable. Part of the reason why I'm always on the hunt for something that makes money or something that is really good uh, for me to sell or for me to promote or for me to fill a gap in and, and create a, a product on or something like that is because um, I know the economy is really unstable, and I want to make sure that I'm able to be as prepared as possible for whatever's happening. Things like, you know, the oil crisis in 1973, some of you guys may remember, some of you may not. That was actually before I was even born, right? Uh, some of these were, and then some of them were after. Um, now, well, I'm talking about things like uh, Mexican crisis in 1994, U.S. savings and loan crash. I remember that one, actually. I was only like 12 years old or so. I remember that, that happening. Uh, I remember the, the dot-com bubble, in fact, because I was just started designing websites and was looking at the Internet like, wow, this is amazing. The Japanese asset, I mean, they, they've pretty much, their, their currency's just been through the ringer for 20-plus years now, going on even more. Uh, Iceland, uh, Europe, Cyprus, I mentioned them, they're not even on the list, right? All that stuff. It's, it's absolutely insane, and it's really, really freaking scary, right? And, and then there's other countries like Greece, you know, Italy. Um, is, is facing some depression and stuff like that. Um, you know, I've heard, uh, what was it, Poland, right? Uh, Spain even. So there's a lot of that going on, and it's, it's a little bit scary. Now, I'm going to speak to the U.S. because, you know, I live here in the U.S., but, uh, you know, anybody in any country can probably relate to this. But, you know, the U.S. used to be one of the wealthiest nations on the planet. In fact, it was the wealthiest nation on the planet. Our gross domestic product per capita was the largest in the world. Now we rank number 13 as of April of 2013 right now. Now, I mean, that's that's pretty poor uh, showing, right? Since 9-11, though, part of the reason why is because we spent so much money on the war on terror. Um, our gross national debt is $17 trillion. We're getting downgraded by different credit agencies here and there and people that are threatening to downgrade us even more. All that stuff is really freaking scary, right? How many people are, are worried about that? How many people? Type in the chat. How many people are worried about these kinds of things? I'll tell you what right now. I don't care what side of the fence you're on, whether you're Republican or Democrat or any, anything in between, whatever shade, right? The fact that we've spent $1.5 trillion, right, blowing stuff up and then rebuilding it in other people's countries concerns me greatly, right? The fact that we have $17 trillion in national debt concerns me freaking greatly. doesn't matter how it got there. doesn't matter anything about that. That's some serious stuff, right? Now, so who isn't worried about that? Can you guys type in the chat? Tell me who isn't worried about that. Who on this call is not worried about it? I'm curious. Is anybody here not worried about it? Okay, unemployment's been sitting at 9% for the past several years. Okay, again, it's not just one president's fault or anything like that, and I'm not going to get into a huge political discussion about that. I think it's just concerning either way that it's been sitting at this point, and there's a lot of people who've just dropped out of the, the workforce, the unemployment, and uh, the number's probably quite a bit higher. And when we look at 49% of the U.S. population living on household uh, or, or receiving some type of government benefit, 
in their households. All this stuff is absolutely real. 